Hello everybody, welcome back to MD1 YouTube. We're speaking now about the novel coronavirus, although I can't wait to get back to general medical topics um, for everybody from the general population to 911 providers. We're gonna talk about different topics, so let's start with ibuprofen. So ibuprofen is something that's been in the media recently with the novel coronavirus as something that could make you at more risk or potentially change the course of novel coronavirus. So let me kind of talk about this for a second. First, let's talk about what, about what ibuprofen is. Just some terms to get through. Advil is the same exact drug as Motrin, which is the same exact drug as ibuprofen. There's no difference. The only real difference is the dose that patients can have. A doctor can write a prescription for 800 milligrams or 600 milligrams of Motrin or ibuprofen or Advil, again, same thing, whereas a patient can only get a maximum in the United States of 200 milligrams. This is why sometimes we tell people to take four Advil over the counter, which is equal to 800 milligrams. The maximum dose for an adult is 2,400 milligrams per day or 800 milligrams three times a day. So where did this come from? Well, this was the French Minister of Health who made this statement to say that people with potentially novel coronavirus shouldn't take ibuprofen. This is not based upon any good science whatsoever. There's really two medications you can take for muscle aches and fevers. One is Tylenol or, and one is ibuprofen. Now, should everybody take ibuprofen with a fever? In general, if it's a small fever, especially in children, and it doesn't bother the person that much, you do not have to take any medications whatsoever for that fever. But if you become achy or you get a fever, either one, you can take these medications. There are risks of taking ibuprofen in general. One risk is it could affect your kidneys if taken a lot of it. Or two, it could affect your stomach and cause some bleeding if taken a lot of it. That's more when taken on a regular basis than a one-time dose. But Tylenol can have problems too. Tylenol is generally a benign drug, but that can start to affect your liver. So if you're just getting a simple viral infection, like a novel coronavirus, a little bit of ibuprofen should be perfectly safe for you. As always, consult with your doctor first. The one thing you want to clearly make sure of is not to take too much in a 24-hour period. For Tylenol or acetaminophen, same drug, that is four grams in a 24-hour period. For Motrin, that's 2,400 milligrams for an adult in a 24-hour period. The dose in children is 10 milligram per kilogram. That means you take your body weight divided by 2.2, and that's your body weight in kilograms. You want to be very, very cautious when using repeat doses in children, especially under the age of six months.